everybody, I'm Joanne Kent from Phillips Garden Center and I'm here today to give you tips on how to successfully raise vegetables in raised gardens. Of course, the first one right off the bat, the top one, is location, location, location. If you're growing vegetables, more than likely everything that you grow is going to take anywhere from six to eight hours of direct sunlight. So make sure that you properly place your garden where it gets those six eight to eight hours of sunlight. The second key is soil preparation. Your plants will only do as well as the soil that you place them in. So our formula here is a combination of two scoops of soil conditioner, which is a combination of bark fines and cotton gin trash that has all kinds of nutrition in it mixed with topsoil. So our scoops are like big tractor scoops. So it would be two of those to one of the topsoil. You combine those very well, which is gonna give you very good organic material for your plants to be raised in. The third tip is mulching. It's very important to mulch your vegetables after you've planted. One of the culprits are weeds in a vegetable garden and it's very difficult to keep those pulled. We use really thick layers of newspaper and either wheat straw or pine straw. If you put both of those things down, the weeds stay down, keeps you from having to get on your hands and knees and pull weeds. Weeds are also one of the major problems. They are nesting areas for insects, you get disease starting. So keeping those weeds down is key to a successful garden. Now on to the next tip. One of the most important keys is to make sure that you give your plants food. Just like us, we have to eat. Plants have to eat in order to produce. You don't start out, I'm a key believer in not fertilizing your plants until about two weeks after being in the ground. So it's not necessary to put your fertilizer in your ground before you plant. There are several types of fertilizers that you can use if you're trying to go organic, there are some things, but typically a 5-20-20 or a Super Rainbow 13-13-13 is adequate for your plant materials to grow and be successful and produce a lot. Uh, the two other things I know everybody there's such controversy on is insecticide and fungicide. You can't have a garden in the south if you don't put those things on your plants. Insecticides are very important. We've got aphids and thrips that just destroy a garden overnight. Squash bugs are horrible this time of year. So make sure that you know at least weekly or seven to ten days that you spray your plants for any insects or disease problems that arise. So there's your keys to a successful garden. Happy gardening.